Hello guys, my name is Tu again. So for this video, I'll be talking about how can we reuse a developed part list. For example, I have developed this part list. I have customized it with additional columns. For example, the NX material and also the mask column. So for the next drawing, I would like to reuse the um, same format, same templates. So you can have, uh, how can we uh, reuse this template? So first of all, we need to save this template into a new file. So for that reason, usually we need to go and choose right click and choose save as a template. So um, where should we save this template how, by, by the way? So let me show you the folder uh, which is relevant. For example, uh, currently I'm working with NX12. I will need to go to the C drive and go to the D file location, which is at the program files. Siemens folder, uh, NX12.0, um, UGII folder, and there is a folder called the table files. So all the table files, these are the uh, default table files available, and we can save the table files, uh, the template folder, uh, template into this uh, folder. So let's try to do that. For example, if I right click and choose save as templates, and I'm currently at this uh, directory mentioned. So I would, I would like to save my file as, for example, um, two part this part this. So this will be my uh, file name, uh, which is in the PRT format. So let, let's, uh, let's say if I, uh, I'm doing this the first time, I will encounter this error which does not allow me to write this new file into that particular directory because that particular directory is, uh, I do not have the permission to write it. So this is uh, an, an error which will be encountered by the new user when they try to do it the first time. So I will just show you as well this design. Uh, so let's say if I go to this uh, table of files directory, uh, in order to grant me the access, uh, permission to write, I will need to right click and choose the properties and go to the security tab and choose edit. Make sure you need to highlight the current user. For example, I'm currently the user for this uh, workstation and I will need to uh, check full control to allow me the uh, permission to write on this particular folder. Uh, once that is done, click OK and accept the settings. And now let's try to uh, do the same thing. Save as the folder into this uh, location to um, part list. And just put one. Click OK and now I'm able to save it. So let's try to look into that particular folder and this will be the new file that has been created. Uh, as you can see, this is the date, uh, which is today's date. And now I will need to register this into the um, into uh, Annex. So in the user interface, you need to go to the menu and choose preference and choose uh, palettes. So here we need to click uh, open palettes and choose and browse to this same directory which is at the same uh, location here and choose the tables uh, .pax file so the pax file will list all the templates available uh, by default so once that is done you can have an additional um, so additional if you look into your um, resource bar you will have an additional uh, palettes for the table. So for example, this is uh, the existing uh, palettes. For example, if I try to drag this in and it says it can't be used here and so on. So this is just an empty um, palette. So I will need to register this uh, my custom palette uh, templates into this uh, tables uh, palette. So to do that, I will need to so go back to the um, table files and right click on the tables.pax file which is the palette files and we need to 
uh, write in a new entry. So you can use a Notepad or Notepad++ in my case to edit this uh, particular file. So it seems to be very, uh, quite a long list of codes, but not to worry, we actually can just copy one of the relevance um, table. For example, I'll be copying, uh, I'll be selecting this uh, whole line. I will just copy and paste a new line. For example, copy and paste it just right before the last line here. And um, so I can't copy and paste because uh, there is some, uh, it's again a restriction uh, problem. It's a permission problem. Copy and try to paste again. Yeah, I can't paste it. That's because uh, for a first, first time user, they will need to uh, write, change the attribute of this particular uh, PAX file. So to do that, you need to right click on this PAX file and choose property. Uh, make sure we uncheck the read only um, button here. So once this file is unchecked, now we can edit this uh, file. So let's try again. Copy this entire line and replace it just at the bottom here. And we can quickly change the ID to the subsequent value, which is um, which is 19, because uh, 18, the next ID will be 19. Then we can put some um, description for uh, users to better understand what is this um, template is all about. For example, I will say part this uh, by two. So the name, just put it as a, so, so in order to follow the format, we will just need to make sure there is no spacing as well. So we'll just put in un underscore. And also for the name, we can just try to put some different, different name for uh, draw, drawing part list. So the preview image, we'll be using the same preview image. Um, for the uh, the most important information will be the file name. So the file name we need to refer to the new file name. So we need to go back to the folder. So let me just quickly put side by side. So this will be the new file name. We need to copy everything. So let's say I copied this entire. Uh, name with, together with the extension PRT and I will put it into here sorry let's go to the file name yeah so file name so file name beginning and file name oh sorry so just this thing now we need to replace this information with the new um, part file as such. So this will register this new template into the palettes. So we need to click save and return to um, annex and we at here we need to just um, drop down from here and choose that no just right click and the empty space and choose refresh and sc scroll to the bottom so we have this uh, drawing part list so uh, just need to make sure this is the this is the name that we are using. If you're feel, if you're feeling confused, what is the name? You can refer back to here. For example, the drawing part list, or I can just quickly put a, a bit of differentiator. Like uh, I, I'm putting my initial initial at the behind of the name. Then you will differentiate even better. So let let me just quickly and save it and just try to refresh again and see that there is a new uh, the name has been updated to the new uh, differentiator so we can just drag this in now we can reuse this template with all the um, quantities the additional roles as such so this is how we can reuse and uh, a fully developed and customized templates for the next drawing so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.